Okay, YouTube, we're back for episode number two of the Pete Alonzo series live on Twitch here. And let's take a look. So we're 22 at bats deep, three home runs, six RBIs, batting 318. The rest of the squad here, I'll just run through really quickly. Man, Jeff McNeil has been on base every time we're uh, hitting. It's really crazy, giving us so many RBI opportunities. We even picked up Wilmer Flores back in episode one. Go check that out. And we made a uh, pitching change as well. We picked up uh, Masahiro Tanaka here down at the end. So we've run through the rotation a couple times. DeGrom has yet to give up a run on the season. Zero ERA. Syndergaard, a little bit high there. Not good on his first couple starts. Stroman has a victory. Tanaka there. Matt's a little bit rough. And the bullpen, we were able to pick up that Adovino in episode one. So we made some trades in episode one, kind of managed the team a little bit. If you have any suggestions, get in the comments. This episode is just going to be a lot of gameplay. So let's jump in. We're going up against... It is, oh yeah, back to Strasburg. We already faced him once in this series, right? Let's go jump in here. Player locking with Pete Alonzo. The Mets are 5-1. and one. Let's roll. And we're going away to uh, National Park, is it? I'm not even sure what it's called, really. Oh yeah, I forgot for MLB The Show, we have to move over here, too. Make the face cam a little bit smaller. We got to move up into this uh, area. Kind of in the middle. Afternoon baseball here on the show. It's the home opener of this new season. Between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Nationals Park. I was right. Let's go. Pete Alonzo. We're just going to simulate right into our first at bat. Steven Strasburg gets the ball for the opener. And here we are coming up in the first inning with a man on base. How much you want to bet it's Jeff McNeil? I can't really tell, but it looks like him. First at bat. All right, then. That's how we're going to start this one today. Pete Alonzo with a big boy home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home what was that pitch, Strasburg? Just giving me something to crush right away. All right then. We'll take it. Let's simulate to the next at bat. Fourth home run on the year. Let's go, Pete. So you guys can see my batting difficulty just increased a little bit there. We lay off a pitch down and away. Look at them shifting on Pete Alonzo. Oh, I don't know why I'm not going after that one. That was home run number two. Strasburg losing control. All off-speed pitches so far. Oh, a little bit early on that one. Two and two, we're not chasing. Another 3-2 count for Pete Alonzo. Swinging normal. Oh. All right. Was able to fight off that pitch, though. If you guys follow MLB The Show and you're watching the stream, say what's up. Pete Alonzo, down low curveball. Not getting to it. Oh. I brought the bat down really nicely to that one. But it's a ground out to the shortstop. But we worked the pitcher really well in that bat. So we're almost to all-star difficulty now in these games. Ooh. Swinging over the curveball there. He's starting to hit his spots a little better. 
the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Oh, also, for this video, I turned the uh, voice commands on the controller. So you guys are going to hear some uh, running commands and stuff out of the controller and fielding. I was watching the stream back, and I didn't think it was actually that distracting or annoying. So we're going to leave it on for this episode. Oh, Pete Alonzo. You know what's crazy, right? I was uh, looking at some of my YouTube statistics. It's so weird how, like, videos that are older still get views years after you put them on YouTube. So you guys may be watching this video years after I create it. Pete Alonzo is getting another one. Squared up down the middle that time. 3-2 count. Pete Alonzo, second home run of the day. Five on the year now. A solo shot here to left. His second Look at the graphics on Pete's face. Bang! Four to one. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Looks like uh, Strasburg's going to be... Oh, well, it's still only 4-1. to one. Couldn't hit his spot there. Oh, this is a relief pitcher. They got Daniel Hudson here in the 8th inning. We're leading 4-1, to one, guys. Ooh, can't catch up to that fastball. Hudson is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. There, Looking go. down low. The one, one home. There it is. Oh, we popped it up. Felt like played. I got there. I swung power on that one. And that's the first down and it gave us a little bit less accuracy. Pop it up. But and that's the game, here. man. We ended up the helping the squad the out quite a bit. Good way to start this episode. And the score finishes four to one today. New York. We better have gotten player of the game. Oh yeah. Two for four, two home runs, three RBIs. Dylan Batances gets the save. Remember, I put him into that closing role. And Syndergaard gets his first win. Good for him. Yo, drop a one in the chat if you guys are still watching the Twitch stream. We were playing some Warzone earlier. Which is a lot of fun. Would highly recommend that game. Let's jump into the next one. We're coming up against Patrick Corbin. I'm pretty sure we already faced him as well. Because I was pointing out that he's from Syracuse. I was wishing the New York Mets would have signed him. Our average is up to 346 on the year. Nine RBIs, five home runs. Let's go. Let's try to run through some games in this episode. See how many we can get done. Looks like you're the only one here with me, brother. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. What's the play ball? That's ball four. Oh, whoa. I was so confused for a minute. Okay. It's giving us this mode. I forgot to click uh, the simulate. So here we are coming up. The home run champion is off to a good start. And we got two men on in this at bat. Man at first and third. Only one out. So let's see if we can get a fly ball. At least get a run in, right? Fellas, the Nationals, as they take the field here today, it was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done him any favors. Oh, a little late on that. Yeah, Maddie, these players got in their cars today to drive. Oh, no, I was early. Just bad contact. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W, and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, controller is rumbling right now. One ball, two strikes. I think it's because of its, uh, Big situation with runners in scoring position. All right, we're able to lay off some garbage pitches here. Let's see if we can get that fly ball we're looking for. Oh, 
Oh, it drove it into the gap, looks like. Oh, no, it's another. <laughs> okay, well. We're getting off to a great start. The difficulty better be rising up after a couple at-bats like this. The three-run blast for Pete Alonso. Crushed it. I thought that was actually more in the gap. Yeah, you can turn the vibrations off, but I don't mind it. Ooh. One after a slider first pitch there. Oh, curveball. A little early. Oh, two count here. Let's see if we can fight. Nope. Oh, man. Another curveball, and he strikes us out after getting a big home run to start the game. Terrible swing there. That was one of our worst swings of the uh, season so far. Let's go, Pete. I'm going to look away. Oh, a little bit low. Let's see if we can find something a little bit up in the zone here and drive it again. Low and out of the zone. He need to chill. Hey, man. Oh. Another one down low, out of the zone. Couldn't quite get to it. Oh, wow. Chasing this time. Oh, no. He couldn't throw us out, though. We ran it out. We strike out, but we end up at first base. <laughs> Pitcher can't be happy about that one. All right, gives us a base running opportunity. The manager is telling me to steal? Okay. Go, Pete. Come on. Oh, I got a pretty good jump, too. Hey, the manager told me to steal. That was pretty close. Pete Alonzo, we tried to get our first deal on the year. Rip. All right, we get a defensive opportunity. We didn't even get play any defense in the last game. Oh, no, I couldn't get it. I was thinking I am going to have to dive on this one, but... Damn, couldn't make the play. All right, well, we're back with the bat. This is our main bread and butter. We're not base runners or defensive. <laughs> Look at the uh, jersey, though. It's all dirty. I like it because we were trying to steal. Come on. What you going to do to Pete Alonzo? Oh, couldn't get it again. The Mets replied to one of your tweets? Oh, that's awesome. Put it in the chat. Up and in. All right. This guy doesn't want to attack Pete Alonso here in the seventh inning. By the way, we're only up one run, and we work a walk with Pete Alonso. Should we try to steal a base again, guys? <laughs> we did not. I mean, honestly, we got pretty close last time. The manager told me to try to steal. Oh, this time. Double play ball. Oh, me stealing actually would have helped the team. Here's Howie Kendrick, one for two in the ball game thus far. This thing's far from 
Oh, pop up. Oh, well, that was weird. Thought it was coming to me. Apparently not. All right, well, we're one for three in this game. We've been hitting really well in terms of the power department. We're almost at the all-star difficulty level. Let's see if we can get another base hit here, get some insurance runs for us here in the ninth inning. I'm going to look up and away. Ooh, that one caught the zone, huh? thought that was going to be a little high. Should have went for it. Oh, couldn't catch up to that fastball, 95. This guy's throwing some heat. Good eye right there. Yo, I'll check that message in the chat in a second. Oh, wow. That was a borderline pitch. The umpire gave us the call. Let's try and take advantage. Did I get it? Oh, diving play from the shortstop. And he throws us out. Trey Turner with a nice defensive play. I miss you too. <laughs> well, the skipper has to be pleased. They go on the road and win the first two of this three. Looks like the Mets pick up another victory. And they replied to my buddy on Twitch. Let's go. So we didn't do that well in terms of batting average, but we're heading for power, boys. Pete Alonzo showing the power. All right, let's finish off this series. Can we get the sweep? I wonder if we need to rest him at all. It doesn't show me uh, stamina from this uh, image. Let's go check it from here, actually. Set the lineup and everything. That This should show us if he's tired or not. Uh, it doesn't look too tired, but maybe we could give Pete a day off, maybe the next game. I think I'm going to have to manage that myself, so we're going to have to keep that in mind throughout this series. Let's jump in. The Mets are 7-1 and one right now. Off to a great start. It's going to get harder and harder, guys. Remember, we're using that dynamic difficulty, so we're getting our at-bats in by the end of this year. It's going to be formed, hopefully, toward my difficulty. Pete Alonzo almost leading the league, or tied for the league leader in uh, RBIs, looked like. MLB, the show's coverage of Let's see if we can get this sweep. Up next, the power that bat of Pete Alonzo. Blank time against Donibel Sanchez. He's gone First pitch. Oh, He's wow. First pitch swinging a laser caught by the third baseman. All right. Well, we got a defensive opportunity here. Trey Turner. We got to keep him off the base pass. It's right to me. Oh, no. Oh, I just barely flipped it in time. Oh, <laughs> Trey Turner almost ran that out on us. All right, another defensive opportunity here. Oh, I stopped it. Can I get the out? Beautiful play. Diving stop with Pete Alonzo, and we flip it to first base. That's what we need. Get in, boys. Played some good defense for the first time in this series. Ooh. High cutter. I wanted it. All right. We play patient. Good job, Pete. 
See if we can get something here. I'm looking up high again. It goes down low, but we lay off. The Mets are up three to one. Continuing to place just so well. He doesn't want to come after us, boys. But he's got Conforto coming up next. Doesn't get any easier. Ooh, barely caught the zone there. But he deserved that call. Let's look inside. Ooh, was able to fight off a pitch. Oh, another one. All right, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to take a contact swing with Pete Alonzo. Hello. Contact swing just went out of the park, boys. Pete Alonzo is off to an, a ridiculous year in terms of power. A solo shot here to left. Another solo shot. That was a contact swing and a 3-2 count golfed it out of here. My man. I think it's just Pete Alonso. I mean, he has over 100 power, you know? So contact swing, normal swing, as long as you connect. <laughs> Alonso's crazy. Ooh, I should have taken that one. Let's try and up our batting average, though. We're hitting for power, that's for sure. 1-1 one, one count here. Oh, right down the middle. For some reason, I dropped the PCI. All right, we're able to lay off an inside pitch there. Bob says, Budo, these pitchers have families. Oh, that one's in the gap. That was way up, way low in the zone. Somehow, I'm able to hit it all the way to the wall in the gap. And we end up with a double. Let's go, Big Pete. Second double of the year. Seven home runs, two doubles. Pete Alonzo, let's go. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. How many viewers we got on Twitch watching this? Let's try and get a little bit of, uh, let's get some new people in the stream. We haven't had a new follower today. Oh. It's popped up, two outs. You're going. Yo, appreciate the support as always, man. It was fun playing some uh, Warzone. All right, we can run that out. We take it at first. Run there. We're good. We've been playing well, though, defensively. I don't think we've made an error on the year. Oh, difficulty increased, boys. We're now at the all-star level. We're batting all-star now. We'll see how this kind of changes our power. The average... Excuse me, it's up over 300 too, so we'll see. The Mets are up 4-1 to one here. We got another chance to add on some runs, no outs. And Pete Alonzo rips it. Beautiful hit right there. I'm going to second. Let's go, we moved up to second on an error there in the field. Pete Alonzo. <laughs> they had the uh, infield moved up a little bit there. And I just ripped it past them. And look at that guy. Couldn't get it. What a noob. All right, let's do some smart base running here. There's no outs. Oh, Conforto strikes out. Wilson Ramos coming up. Everybody is hitting well on the New York Mets. It's crazy. It would be fun to do a player lock series with somebody like Trey Turner who has a ton of speed. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. 
He needs to get this wow, it's, it's going to show us every pitch at the, for this at bat. Three zero count here. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need Base is loaded. Now batting. They loaded. And they reloaded. Mikelos, welcome back. I saw that message a while ago. I just didn't respond. It's not that much of a uh, delay. <laughs> Come on. Base is loaded. Let's see what uh, Mariznik can do here. And he walks. Wow. Just walked in a run. We're on third base. Um, you might want to pinch hit for Masahiro Tanaka. No? Uh, we're not scoring because he caught it. What's the largest stadium in baseball? Um, I know the Mets is fairly large, at least in center field. Oh, first pitch swinging. We're a little bit under that one, and we pop it up. But we should have enough to win this game, right, guys? Oh, wow. Okay, defensive opportunity here. Let's try and close this game out. Trey Turner's at... Oh no. Get to first. Alright, we're there. Not going to get Trey Turner. Let's just get one out. Yeah, Dodger Stadium is really big for sure. Big dimensions. That's what's one thing I like about baseball. All the stadiums have different dimensions, you know. The different, the air atmosphere changes it as well. Like playing in Col Colorado is notorious for having a lot of home runs. Because something about the air is thinner or something helps the ball travel. Something, something. All right, we end up sweeping the Nationals. Here we are up against Houston. Player lock, Pete Alonzo. Oh, we grew an overall rating. We're up to a 90 overall now, guys. Let's go. Maybe uh, upgrading our defense. That could help us grow overall, right? If we play really good defense. Batting 371 on the year so far. Best batting average on the team for taking the most at bats. Wilmer Flores batting 500. Hello. He's DHing today. Let's try and uh, run through these games a little bit quicker. Put it on simulate to next appearance. Here we are. Pete Alonzo coming up. In the first inning with two men on against Verlander. Ooh, low and inside. I'll let that one go. I'm looking up top. Nice. We're able to lay off that. Oh, that was considered a strike? Excuse me? Not who was going to be the hero. Just the fact that they needed a W. Ball one. That one That's teams, crazy. Okay, let's actually not ground into a double play. Let me look down here a little bit. Oh, we hit it down the line. Come on. No way. That was a double play? Pete Alonzo didn't run that out. Come on, game. You're drunk. What a beautiful play from Bregman down the line. That wasn't a bad hit. I like this game a lot, man, but I'm a huge baseball fan in general, so any baseball game I'm going to like. Well, that's why you tell me to play defense. There's nothing I can do to that. All right, well, Houston is kind of taking it to us here. We're down one nothing. Pete Alonzo chasing first pitch. Let's see if he goes with a high fastball here. I'm ready for it. All right. Verlander, he throws a lot of off speed. 
Yeah, it, it feels the same gameplay wise for sure. It's a roster update type of game. Let's go, Pete. That's a good hit, and he dives in left field, but he doesn't make the catch. I'm going to second. Easy. What are they doing out there in left field fumbling around? That's a double. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this dive. Oh, he couldn't make the play. <laughs> Dude, I love the dive animations in this game. They're so funny. With Mark DeRosa, Dan Prezak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto. The one where you dive over your head and try to catch it like this, where you're like, oh. That one's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Every time we watch uh, Conforto, he strikes out. Alright. Doesn't look like we're... Oh, we got one opportunity left. J.D. Davis, come on, man. Remember, we made that trade so he could play every day. Ah, I couldn't make it. Here we are coming up to bat again. We're one for two of the double so far. Verlander, he keeps trying to hit that down and in corner spot right there. The corner pocket. Ooh. I was ready for a high fastball too, a little late. Can't hit his spot inside. All right, here's a count where let, let's uh, swing power. Pete Alonzo looking for a home run. All right, 3-1 count. I'm going to look inside, and we're swinging for the fences. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? You find yourself in a good count. That's got to be out of the stadium. Where did that land? 420 feet. Let's go. What a home run that was. Got into a good count there. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light squared that one up. Perfect. That one felt beautiful. We'll see if this gets him going. Look at that. Where did that land? It went way over that train track over there. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. So far, two for three. Yeah, get a Mets logo emote. When we get uh, more subs, for sure. I have one emote slot, and I already have plans for it. Look at Pete Alonzo playing the field, too. Man, we're still losing this game, though. We hit that solo home run. Oh, okay. The score just changed quite a bit. Now we're down five to, or we're down seven to five here. Let's see if we can get an inning started. No outs here. Should have went after that high sinker, to be honest. Pete Alonzo. Well, he's not much of a baby, that's for sure. He's like 6'5", 240 or something like that. Oh, we almost hit another home run, but it goes foul. Oh, ooh. you better be scared of Pete. Oh, okay. All right, we talked a little bit too much smack. We strike out. That was a good pitch right there. Let's take a look. Terrible swing. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at his face. Oh, here we are. Ninth inning. We're down one run. Oh, wow. And I look at a slider or a slurve right down the middle. And fastball down low. Couldn't quite get to it. A little late. 0 2 count here. Come on. This is the biggest opportunity of the game. We're down a run. Oh, no. Pete Alonzo strikes out and we take a loss. 
against the Astros too. We played well in that game. We just didn't hit well in the right opportunities. If we could have got a home run right there, that would have helped us more than the solo shot. All right, we're still eight and two, crushing it on the year. Let's try and get some revenge here against Houston. We got DeGrom on the mound. And then after this game, let's maybe take a look and check uh, if Pete is getting a little tired and needs a day off. If you guys are new to the stream, say what's up, drop a follow. We've had really good stream quality today, only dropped a couple frames we've been streaming for three hours so far we are under the coming up against Zach Granke all right we have a lead as well up one nothing oh wow I thought I was on that one we end up grounding out. I forgot to simulate the next appearance, but that's okay. Here we are in the uh, playing some defense here. We're down now, two to one. It's right to me. We haven't had too many uh, plays in the field where we really need to dive. Here's another one in the field. Standing in, Josh Reddick is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Ball right side. Uh, looks like we can run towards first there. We got him. All right, getting some good putt outs. Upping our uh, rating on defense. Wow, another one here defensively with bases loaded. I'm scared. It's a pop up. Alonzo is there for it. We got it, boys. GG. All right, let's simulate the next appearance. Let's get the bats going. Yeah, I did some Uber Eats today. Only a couple Uber Eats orders, though. Ooh, that changeup. I wanted it. Went a little bit too low. I did a McDonald's breakfast order. And last night I did a bunch. I'm going to do some more tonight. Uber Eats is nice during this uh, during these quarantine times because it's no contact. Like a lot of the deliveries, people will put a note on there saying leave the food at the door or leave it on the porch or whatever. No, I did a check swing. Damn, it looks like I went through. We strike out there. Not a good at bats for us. We need to have a better bat. A lot of opportunities for us defensively, though. I need to toss it there. Nice. Toss it to the ground. All right, we're 0 for 2. Let's take a couple pitches here. At least the first pitch. That's okay. Probably would have ground out if I swung at that, to be honest. Ooh, should have laid off that one, though. Four, three, our score here as we play inning number six. Man, I don't know where to look here. Throws a high slider. That's weird. Let's stay middle and try to adjust. Ooh. Strike out there against Granky. Man, we're 0 for 3 so far in this game. This is the ninth inning, too. We need to get a hit here. Oh, but it's lined to the left fielder. Not much you can do there, man. 
Maybe a power swing would have been better. That was just a normal swing. Unlucky. Wow, I think that was our first really bad game batting. Couple strikeouts, didn't get a hit. And we take another loss. Two losses to the Astros. How come they don't allow Uber in Austria? Is it because of the local taxi companies? They don't like it? Wow, after two losses in a row, guys. We can't leave Pete Alonso out of the lineup. Looks like our minor league teams are starting to get going. Pete Alonso has got to stay in the lineup. McNabb, thanks for coming back to the stream, bud. How was uh, shopping? I need to get some groceries for my place. I haven't really gone shopping at all since any of this happened. Been eating out a lot. Trying to support some local places around me. Alright, here we are. Big Pete coming up here at Miller Park. This is a cool stadium. I like how it looks. Oh, don't catch that. Nice. Get it out of play. So, yeah, they don't like Uber over there, huh? Wow, big fastball up high. Swinging way late. All right, come on, Pete. This is a good at bat here. Make him work a little bit. Lays off a change up. Make him come into the zone. Let's be ready. Oh. Change up. Was I early on that? I guess I just swung through it. I don't know. Wow. Well, the difficulty seems like it's gone up a little bit. What do you think? We're starting to get some harder pitches. They're really not throwing much down the middle to us. Let's be a little bit more patient here. Luckily for us, the New York Mets are carrying us. We're down. We're, we're up 6 nothing. Yeah, Miller Park. I like how they have that slide on left field where the mascot goes down. <laughs> Got some more rum for the quarantine. Man, Pete Alonzo, we got to square up a pitch here. All right, we work it to a 3-2 count. All right, we work a walk. That's fine. Good patience from Pete Alonzo. Brings up Conforto. Let's see if he'll has smash a home run this time. Nope, he strikes out again. We've been bad luck for him in this episode. Pretty sure in episode one, he smashed a home run while we were on base. All right, now it's six to four. They're starting to come back a little bit. Come on, Pete. Oh, we're missing that one. Big, big miss. I'm going to look inside here. Oh, man. Some bad swings this at game. Come on, let's get it together. Ah, that one's not going to drop, is it? No. It's caught in left field. Heavy metal pirate. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big They keep hitting this zone right here. Outside. Get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Man, we missed it again. Coming in on it is Kane. He gets Rough at bats for us, but it looks down. like the Mets are going to get the win here unless we blow up with the bullpen. We do get a victory. Wow. A couple games here without a hit. We need to pull it back together.
J.D. Davis had a good game there with a home run, two, two for two looked like. You know what? Maybe this is a good time to uh, give Pete Alonzo his first day off. Let's go check that, uh, his stamina. Oh, no, he looks fine because we had a day off recently or something. Huh. Ah, he looks fine. Let's let him play. Let's move the lineup around a little bit. We can't make any substitutions. Oh, this is where we just choose the player lock, huh? So we can't change the lineup from there. Well, we're still leading in the league in RBIs. We've had a couple rough games here. Let's get it back together. DeGrom leading the league in strikeouts, too. What do you guys prefer to uh, drink in the chat? McNabb said he just picked up some rum. I like rum, but I don't really like spiced rum. I like the clear stuff. I also like tequila and whiskey. Here we are, bases loaded. Probably should have swung at that, but let's let's let it go. I think this is our first bases loaded opportunity of the year, guys. Nice. Come on, Pete. Let's find a pitch a little bit elevated for us. He doesn't want to attack me. Throwing outside there. Rum and Coke is always good. Oh. Up high there to Pete Alonzo. Couldn't get the PCI over there. 2-2 two, two count. Oh, did we just hit a grand slam? Stay fair. Oh, grand slam with Pete Alonzo. 428 feet after a couple rough games with no hits. That's a way to start off this game. Grand slam for Pete Alonzo. Bases loaded. Well, it seems like only a couple of minutes ago that we were ready for the game. It was able to stay fair. Come on. Let's go. Including that grand slam. And they might not be done yet. Big home run. We're up six to one now. All oh, bases loaded for them, and we get a defensive opportunity. I'm scared. Oh no, Pete Alonzo fumbled it. But we still make the play. Oh. Good job, Pete. Oh, I forgot to simulate to next appearance. Here we are, though. The difficulty, by the way, for batting is at All-Star Plus now. <laughs> After the big grade slam. Dude, another home run and the four RBIs. Let's go, Pete. We're going to break some records this year. Wow, 3-0 count. He doesn't want to touch me right now. I'm swinging. Nah, we'll let that one go. Let's see if he can elevate a pitch for us. Oh, I think we got home run number two. Oh, it ended up foul. Oh, man. Oh, squared that one up, but some good defense. That was out of the zone, too. That was ball four. It's all right, though. Got to go for it. Here we are on defense. Double play. 
first, no, but not in time. Oh, not in time. New inning, Man, that grand slam felt real good, especially on a higher difficulty. But yeah, back to uh, drinks. If I had to choose something, I would definitely go with like a whiskey coke with a one ice cube or just, you know, straight up with a side of coke. So you would call it a grand slam if everybody is on base. So all all the bases are filled up. First, second, third base, everybody's staying in there. And then you hit a home run. Like a home run right now is just a solo shot with nobody on base. Oh, speaking of home run. <laughs> Pete Alonso. <laughs> Second home run of the day. Tenth on the year. We're not even out of the first month of the season. Yeah, so you end up with four runs for a grand slam. That run, that home run right there, just one. But the grand slam gave us four. Nice job, Pete. These defensive opportunities really don't have to do much at first base. Oh, was able to snag it. Let's go. Pete Alonso's defensive rating is going to be skyrocketing. Yeah, man, it's all about the battle between a pitcher and a batter. You know what I mean? Like, this is the battle. Is he going to throw it up high? Is he going to throw it down low? Inside? Outside? Is it going to be fast? Is it going to be a curveball? There's a lot of different strategies that go into it. Just swung power again. Oh, that changeup. We almost crushed it. For two for three in this game. Oh, chasing the sinker on the outside there. Not a good pitch to go after. Let's look down low, see if he comes after me here. Yup. Pete Alonzo just hit another one. Third home run of the game and a grand slam. 11th home run of the year. 429 feet. He made a mistake. I told you. I'm looking right here, down low in that zone, and that's where it ended up. Love that noise, too, when you hit it really well. Crack. The crack of the bat. Let's take a look. Big Pete, man. Can we hit four home runs in one game? That's all I do is hit home runs. We don't hit singles or doubles. We're almost at uh, Hall of Fame batting difficulty now. I went after another low one. Oh, that one's not going to get out, though. Not quite the same contact. And that was just a normal swing. So it's kind of cool in this game. You can either press X for a normal swing, circle for a contact, or square for a power. But if you use a power swing, your accuracy is way lower. So you have to be really, really on top of the ball. If you do a contact swing, your accuracy can be a little less. It's cool. This game, it really makes sense, this game. Oh, easily getting player of the game on that one. Three home runs. How many RBIs did we end up in that game? Let's check the box score on that one. We end up three for five, three runs scored, three home runs, six RBIs. Pete Alonzo is smashing the ball, guys. We're batting 340 on the year. Ramos actually has a better batting average than us now. 
Let's go Mets. Let's play uh, the rest of this series, guys, and then we're going to end the episode. What an episode here for Pete Alonso in terms of the power. And, hey, we get a uh, reward for Diamond Dynasty. If you guys are watching on Twitch, we're going to do a uh, pack opening after we finish off these next couple games. Let's finish off this series against the Brewers. And remember, I've taken every at-bat so far this year with Pete Alonzo. We've played every game, and we're going to be doing this throughout his whole season, potentially his career. We'll see how it goes, man. I really enjoy this series so far. And if there's any other players you guys would like to see have a series kind of built around them, we're doing a player locks, you know, where we're just playing as one player, not the whole team. Let me know. I'm thinking maybe it would be fun to do like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Some popular players, you know. Let's go, Pete. Coming up here. First inning. Got a man on base. And he throws a cutter down the middle. Should have went for it. So, yeah, just said there, Tom. Selected second round of the 2016 draft. So, 2016, he got to the major leagues in two years. Nice. We're able to rip that one up the middle. Just a simple hit. Single. Let's go. There's a hard hit ground ball. Oh, that's cool. Yo, when I'm standing at first, that like had, it was like the first baseman was talking to me through the controller. It said Ramos is on a seven game hitting streak. Hello. How often do teams play against each other? If you're in the same division, they put four teams in the same division, right? And usually play each of those teams like 20 times throughout the year. Maybe 15 or something like that. And, uh, yeah, maybe play... I mean, there's 32 teams, I believe. So, play pretty much everybody. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, got to remember for those throwing opportunities, I'm used to uh, inverted, right? Because that's how I play Call of Duty, having the uh, inverted controller. Controls. Oh, Pete shouldn't chase that pitch. Let's be a little bit more patient here. Let that one go. It's in the dirt. Yeah, I would say like the NBA. Very similar to that. Ooh. But it's baseball, you know? It doesn't take a lot of like physical effort. So that's why they pretty much play every day. Because, you know, you're just waiting around to hit or you're waiting in the field. Still got to be in good shape, though, and playing for 160 games throughout a year, 162, takes a different kind of uh, durability, you know what I mean? Got to be able to stay in shape all year, be ready to play every day. Oh, no, they're throwing it around like noobs. Oh, and I end up getting caught. Oh, our first running mistake. Of this episode, at least. I think we made one in the last one. I didn't really know where the ball was there. Said something about our batting difficulty. I think we're still at uh, All-Star Plus right now. Uh-oh. We're in a 0-2 count. And the Mets are down 2-1 to one in this game. See if we can help the team. Who was able to fight off that pitch? Barely made contact. Oh wow, he ends up hitting me. 
First time we get hit by pitch so far in this uh, year. Took it right on the bum. Was able to turn around, took it on the bum. All right, well, we get a little base running opportunity. Should we try and steal a base? Probably not. Only when the manager tells me, right? Oh man, it's gonna be a double play. We should have went for the steal. Probably wouldn't have mattered. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Lorenzo Cain. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Right at me. Nice, was able to get out of a bases loaded situation there. Keep the game close. Oh, we're down four to one now. But a chance here for us to tie the game with one swing. Ooh, high fastball to start us. I've been looking low a lot, honestly. They should be pitching up high. Ooh, that one was out of the zone. I went fishing. Oh, oh, that slider was right down the middle too. Didn't get the best contact and we fly out the left field. Man, that was a big opportunity for us and we failed. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. McNeil's got it for one. On to first, All right. And they get them both. Able to get two there. But we take a loss to Milwaukee. Not the best game for us on that one. Well, we did go two for three, but in the biggest opportunity. Couldn't get it done there. End up flying out to left field. Let's jump into the last game of the episode, and then we'll check some statistics as well. Uh-oh, Ramos. I thought I turned injuries off. Oh, man. Wilson Ramos, fractured shin, is going to be out for two to three months. Let's go with auto on that one. Well, I guess we're keeping injuries on. This must have been a different save file. Let's jump into the next game. Ramos is going to be injured. So who are they going to be putting in for him? Let's let them uh, auto fix the lineup. And we'll fix it for the next episode. Let's see what they came up with. So Nido is going to be at our catcher now. Our other catcher. He was having such a good year too. Remember it said he was on a big hitting streak? That's too bad. Now we're going to have to go with him. Well, we're going to have to start to carry the team a little bit. Ramos placed on the 60-day injured list. Rip. I'll have to manage the team a little bit uh, in between episode 2 and 3. Here we are, guys. Last game of the episode. What happened? Oh, okay. I thought it took the bat for me. I was so confused. Here we are. First at bat of the game. We're down 2 nothing already. I thought it simulated my bat. If you guys are new to the stream, drop a follow. We're going to be opening up some uh, Diamond Dynasty packs after this. Oh, I was able to fight off that pitch, too. I was looking a little bit up high. Throwing these low sinkers. But if they can win today, they split this series. Another one was able to fight it off. Come on, Pete. Oh, another one way out of the zone. Didn't throw me many pitches to hit there. I almost ran it out, though. Pete Alonzo showing some hustle. Oh, 
And we're down 3 nothing now. Here we are playing some defense. Alright, easy play there. We got to remember though, if there's any men on base for those opportunities, we could potentially get a double play. Digging in to try it again. Keston here. The second baseman. Oh man, just went off Mats. Went off Mats's leg, looked like. Alright, here we are, coming up again. Damn, we're down 4 nothing now. Swinging first pitch, laser it to the third baseman. Still lurking, playing some games. Appreciate you, McNabb. Alright, let's take a pitch here. High sinker. Interesting. Let's look low and in. See if he makes a mistake. He does. Oh, but I'm still under it. That changeup ended up a little bit higher than I was expecting. Thought it was going to dip down. Another defensive opportunity here. Double play? Wow, Andy slid right into our guy. I thought that was made illegal. Alright, here we are. 0 for 3, guys. Not the best game. Eighth inning. We're down 7 to 3. Show some patience. Batting 313 with runners in scoring position, it said. Ooh. Almost crushed that one. Let's do a normal swing here. Just try and drive this run in. Oh, that low changeup had me swinging way over the top. Terrible timing, too. All right. That's a good eye. Come on, Pete. Bring us back in this game. Give us a chance. Oh, swung over the curveball there. Not a good pitch to swing at. Putting me in the outfield or in the field again. A bunt here. All right. Down so many runs. Why are they bunting? And that's the final game, guys. Kind of rough at the uh, bat for that one. We end up 0 for 4. Not going to help our average, but a great episode overall. We batted really well. Hit a lot of home runs. Man, how many? We started off, I think we had three home runs to start. Now we're on 11. So we went on a huge power streak throughout the mid of April there. We end up that entire uh, way run. We'll be back at New York Mets Stadium against Atlanta in the next one. We're sitting at the top of the division. We're 10 and 5 right now. Let's take a look at the lineup here. Ahmed Rosario is starting to get his bat going, 286. Cano's average dropping down, 222. Jeff McNeil dropping down, 262. Pete Alonzo, 11 home runs, batting 333. Let's go. And we're up to 90 rated overall. Remember, we started off at 89. Conforto batting 310. Good job from him. JD Davis kind of struggling a little bit, but he does have five home runs. Wilmer Flores doing great with the bat as the DH. Marisnik having a rough year so far. Maybe we should get Nimmo some more at bats. We'll check that in the future. And Dominic Smith. Maybe he'll get a few more opportunities now that uh, we don't have a backup catcher. I don't know. Maybe we should send him down to the minors. Let's go check the pitching rotation here really quickly. DeGrom finally gave up a run. 
It's now two and one, one five nine ERA. Syndergaard down to four seven six from a little high earlier. Stroman up to four five, but he still has three wins. Tanaka doing well for us at one eight. Matt's kind of struggling there at the end. And our relief pitchers still got Batansis in there. Looks like he's doing a good job for us in the closing role. Unlike Diaz, Seth Lugo still doing well. All right. If there's any other statistics you guys would like to see at the end of the episodes, please let me know. Let's check the batting average leader lore, leaderboards. Excuse me. So here's Ramos, who is almost leading the league in average, and he goes down with an injury. That's rough, man. But here we are sitting tied for ninth. Pete Alonso batting 333. Hits were kind of up there. Uh, not really, actually, in terms of total hits. At bats, let's check doubles. We really don't have a lot of doubles. Ahmed Rosario's leading us. Home runs. We're leading the league, boys, with 11 home runs. Next closest person is 7 six a lot of people tied for so we have been smashing the ball in terms of power and we are leading the league in the rbis as well with 21 we scored a lot of runs also yeah 13 runs scored there of course no stolen bases but we did attempt one we're leading the league in slugging 933 slugging percentage all right and unfortunately we have somebody on the injured list that's too bad. So I guess we are going with injuries. And I'll see you guys for the next episode. We're going to be starting off against Atlanta. Thank you for joining once again with this Pete Alonzo player lock. His stats. There we are. Up to a 90 overall. Thanks for joining once again. See you soon.